Hey guys, I'm Nisha Deskin and today's video is going to be on three stick foundations that I've tried and I'm going to be telling you guys my thoughts on it and which one is sort of better than the others. Before we start on, excuse these giant lashes that I have. These are the pack lashes in the number 62. I thought, oh my god, I don't have any dramatic lashes, let me get one. I don't think it's for my eye, like I have tiny eyes and it's literally like two people are actually sitting on my eyes. So anyways, let's get started. So the first stick foundation I'm going to be talking about is the Nykaa stick foundation. This is in the shade 04. This one retails for 545 rupees, but right now Nykaa has a sale and where you can get it for about 450 rupees which is really affordable and you get 9 grams of product in this that is again a pretty decent quantity you don't get like a full ounce of product you get about 0.3 or 0.2 so 9 grams for 450 rupees is pretty good and this is how much product you get I mean if you are someone who uses this on a daily basis you would probably run out of this in like a month and a half or something like that so I don't really use one foundation very very often like throughout a month for me to go through it I'm kind of okay with the quantity and I'm actually okay with stick foundation so in Nykaa foundation I think you get about five to six shades which is not great but if you are of like an NC 45 you can find a shade for yourself but if you are any deeper than that you will not find a shade for yourself that is kind of sad I mean they don't cater to very very deep skin tones like a deep chocolate skin tone but I think there are definitely rooms for improvement like if you are in between like two shades you're not going to find a shade for yourself I feel like I am that skin tone that would fall in between shades like medium and medium tan I would fall right in between that and sometimes I cannot find a shade for myself so I, that's the reason I picked this one up but it is a tad bit too dark for me so now coming to the application process of this the Nykaa stick foundation is not too creamy nor is it like very very rigid the first initial swipe like if you've let your product rest for a while you need to get that creaminess out of it by blending it in a little bit and then it starts to be a little bit creamy and I feel like the best way to blend out these stick foundations is with a brush no doubt so if you can use a buffing brush like the real techniques buffing brush or the wet n wild flat top brush that would work a lot better for you and you would save time because a sponge you have to like dab it in and it works better with liquid products and brushes work really well with these kind of stick products which are not liquid so I feel like if you apply like about eight swipes on your face eight to ten swipes you get about medium coverage which is really good way better than their liquid foundation and I feel like that coverage that I want I get it with this the undertone of this is pretty good it's slightly warm which I always prefer I don't mind neutral undertones but if the undertone is pink or something of course it's not going to gel with my warm undertones so that's the reason I prefer these kind of shades this one lasts for a decent amount of time on my face I think about five hours after which you can find a little bit of fading on your skin and this foundation I would recommend to people with oily to normal skin type I think if you have dry skin this might cling on to your dry patches it is not very emollient so I would suggest you stay away from this and if you are someone who lives in hot humid climates I think it would probably stand the test of humidity where I live it's not humid and I walked around with this foundation in really hot sun and it didn't fade away I will uh, insert the link of that video where I reviewed this in the description box below so check that out on the whole i think i would rate this about like 8 out of 10 and i don't think you would be disappointed with this do not try to build this one to full coverage it will go from normal to cakey real quick keep this at medium coverage and you won't be disappointed with this so the next stick foundation i'm going to be talking about is the sugar ace of face foundation stick i got this one in the shade 03 chococino which is for medium skin tone the next one up looked sort of dark so that's the reason I went with this. Now this foundation stick retails for $9.99 which is really really steep and you get 12 grams of product. Even though you get 12 grams of product I think I would justify the price being around like $800 or $850. $9.99 is a little too steep for the amount of product you get in this. This one is a little bit different from the other stick foundations that I spoke about. On one side you have your foundation and the other side you have a brush which is genius because I usually don't like to travel with brushes in my makeup pouch I do have brushes in my makeup pouch but I don't like to travel with it because the brushes tend to get messy and when, once you have the product on and the product gets into your makeup pouch it messes your pouch as well so this brush on the stick foundation I appreciate it a lot I, I just wish that it was retractable that's the only thing because when you're gonna cover this up it does try, sort of like 
uh, mess with the bristles a little bit but nonetheless it's pretty good it's not the best brush to use of course at home you're going to be reaching out for other brushes that you have but when you're on the go you can use it and it does a decent job it is a little bit time consuming you would take a lot more time to blend it out because the brush is so small but it's pretty decent and it gets the job done now coming to the shade itself so this is the sugar foundation and this is the nika stick foundation so this as you guys can see of course is too dark for my skin and it's a little too orange actually it's a little too too warm but the sugar foundation though it looks like this but once i blend it out it kind of gels with my skin tone now coming to the shade ranges available in this i think they have a light a medium a medium deep tan and deep tan so again they have like about five to six shades coming to how it looks on the skin it's it is slightly dewy it is a lot more emollient than the nika stick foundation it blends in and it's not as tugging as the nika stick foundation is so it's pretty emollient and has a nice dewy finish to the skin which if you don't like you can of course set it down and tone it down with the powder but i like it and i like how it looked on my skin when i first applied it after a while it sort of settles down to a slightly matte finish but nonetheless the dewy finish of it is still remaining on the skin and the coverage again i feel like if you apply um about like five or six stripes on your face you're going to be getting like a light medium coverage which is really good and a little more you can build it up easily to a medium coverage you don't need a lot of product to get it to medium coverage and again i would stop it at medium coverage because the more and more you're going to be layering it on it's going to look really cakey on the skin this one i would recommend for people with dry skin normal combination oily and i think this one works across skin types i don't think there's one skin type that this won't cater towards at least i am someone with normal skin and sort of little bit of dry skin around my mouth and stuff like that it didn't cling on to my dry skin it didn't look bad or anything of that sort so it was pretty good and you can of course layer products on this it's not going to look bad it looks pretty good and same goes with the nika stick foundation as well you can layer products on and it's not going to look bad and the longevity of these sugar foundations are pretty good it lasted for about 5 hours when i was completely outdoors and in the hot sun and i was walking around running around and it still lasted pretty well although i did find that there was a major change by the end of the day like it oxidized a lot more by the end of the day compared to when i first applied it and by the end of the day it got a little bit matte and but it didn't cling on to any dry patches it was not emphasizing any texture on my skin and it was still looking very even and flawless it's pretty good foundation only thing is i think it is a little too pricey especially with the shade range that they have to offer and the quantity is just 12 grams so again i think it's a little too pricey and right up there so the nika stick foundation i think was formulated somewhere i don't know about that they always mention that it was formulated in europe but this is manufactured in india whereas the sugar stick foundation is manufactured in korea now moving on to one of my favorite foundations this is the makeup revolution fast base stick foundation i got this one in two shades because <sighs> finding your right shade is a little bit tough especially if you go by the description given on the makeup revolution website i got one from their website itself which is in the shade f8 and i got f10 from nika this is what f8 looks like so that is definitely not for me it's it is i feel a little too pink Okay so I thought F10 is going to be my perfect shade because I saw a lot of people with NC40 skin tone using this and it looks like it's going to be completely different but I can't I just can't see the difference between these two shades it's identical probably this one is a little tad bit dark but both of this is very very similar in terms of shade and even this has a pink undertone so that was something that i was super disappointed with because i told you guys i cannot i can even do with neutral undertones but products with pink undertone does not work on my skin tone because i am warm so i'll give you guys a quick swatch again this is the nika stick foundation in the shade 04 sugar stick foundation which is i feel like the closest to my skin tone like once i blend it of course if you just apply one stripe it's going to look completely different but once i blend it out it find kind of gels into my skin and this is the fast base stick foundation i don't know if you guys can see but that is pink this is the shade f8 which is again identical to this completely completely similar shape so that is something that put me off now moving on to the price point you get this for 745 rupees in india and you get only about 5 
to 6 grams of product in this. On Nykaa, it's mentioned that it's 30 grams. It's definitely not 30 grams. And on the Revolution Beauty website, the weight of this is not mentioned. But on Ulta, it's said to be 0.2 ounces. That translates to 5.2 grams. So, which is way lesser than these two foundations for sure. Now, coming to the texture of this. It's very, very, very emollient, like almost greasy looking on the skin. When I first applied it on my skin, I was looking like Tin Man, like I had highlighter on my entire face. It's very greasy looking and it sort of remains that way until you powder your face. So I have inserted a clip of me applying this foundation first with a sponge and with a brush. So as I mentioned earlier, stick foundations are usually like a brush. This is the Pro Art AK42 brush which I really like to blend out the stick foundation it made my job so easy it was blended in less than a minute whereas with a sponge you have to take your time and I don't really like using a sponge for stick foundation so I would stick to this I applied a sort of generous amount of product like on each side I applied about five to six stripes so that it that translates to about 12 to 14 stripes on my entire face so with that I get a decent medium coverage I don't have to build it up and I would stick to that and I would Definitely not try to build it up too much because again, it's going to look a little bit too cakey and it's going to look a little too much. Now, the finished look that you get is very, very greasy. So you're going to look like you have highlighter on your entire face. So that is not something that is very appealing given that the undertone is off. It looks pink and it looks too greasy. So I had to powder it down. So on one side of my face, I powdered it down and I left the other side just like that just to show you guys. And as you guys can see from the demo, the side where I've powdered looks much better. So I went ahead and powdered my entire face. And this is the foundation that I have on my face right now. And I've powdered my entire face and that's how I like it. It's not too matte even after powdering it. So I used the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is a loose powder for my entire face. And because this powder is a little bit yellow, it sort of gelled in with that and kind of made it a little okay for my skin tone because the other tone was so off. So once I powdered it, I really like how it looks and it doesn't look too matte. It does have a little bit of dewy finish. It does have that little bit of dewiness peeking through, but it's not like how it was before. So I would definitely recommend setting this foundation. And even without this powder, the finish that you get with this foundation is beautiful. It looks flawless. It looks filtered. It doesn't emphasize any dry patches. It doesn't emphasize the texture on my face. It looks beautiful. It looks like my skin but better and it lasts for a decent amount of time. I've already tried this foundation out. It lasted for almost like six to seven hours without any fading even and I don't think this foundation oxidizes so it's a lot better to get your right shade and also about the undertone I'm not very sure. I don't know if it's available in any of the Nykaa stores to go and check it out but if you do find it and if you do have an opportunity to try it out if you are not in India or if you are in India and you know any store that actually retails makeup revolution products then try it out and buy the right shade for yourself because I feel like what you first get is what you're going to be left with it doesn't oxidize throughout the day and it remains like that and it looks beautiful on the skin even by the end of the day it doesn't look cakey whatsoever if you leave it at medium or a sort of little above medium coverage. So in terms of which skin type I would recommend this to, I would definitely recommend this to people with dry skin and normal skin. Do not try this if you have oily skin. I don't think you would like it. I have watched reviews where people with oily skin complain that it fades away a little too soon. It gets very greasy. You would look like a grease ball in about an hour or so. So if you have dry skin and you were afraid of trying stick foundations, try this Makeup Revolution foundation. I don't think you would be disappointed. It's beautiful for people with dry skin and it looks amazing. I think even people with dry skin would have to set this foundation because it's going to look very greasy. But once you set it, it looks beautiful. You can apply as much of powder products that you want. You can apply as much of matte products that you want. I used a matte blush today. I used a highlighter, a powder highlighter today and I don't regret using it at all. If you can get this off the Revolution Beauty website, that would be a lot more affordable for you because this retails for around 400 rupees. So that justifies quantity you get. But in India, I think it is a little too pricey, like 745 rupees for just five grams or six grams of product is a little too pricey which i wouldn't mind spending because of the finish that i get with this and it's so beautiful i just want to try out another shade from this probably f12 now if i'm going to get the right undertone because this definitely is not for my skin tone i actually got this foundation because i wanted to use it for a wedding next month but the finish is beautiful especially for weddings especially for photography it looks amazing and again even the sugar foundation photographs really well but the nika foundation does have a little bit of flashback it does look a little bit too white if you 
kind of go for flash photography so that's something you have to keep in mind i think this comes with an spf in it so that's that could explain why it has that kind of weird flashback so keep that in mind so out of all these three foundations which one would i recommend the most i think if you can find the right shade in the makeup revolution one definitely definitely go for the makeup revolution one and if you have dry skin and you wanted to try a stick foundation for yourself and you've never nothing has ever worked for you i think this is your option and personally out of all the three i do really like this if that was not available i would probably go with the sugar foundation because i feel like it would cater to all skin types as opposed to the nika one but the price point of this is amazing so again it's all like best of both so you have to weigh in what you're looking for what is that you have in mind and stuff like that but these are my personal choices so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel and also let me know what are the other videos that you like to see be it hauls testing out some new products or clothing or whatever you like to see do let me know and i'll see you guys in my next one bye